Welcome back to another Cool Loser Tech video. These are the best apps of the week that you cannot see right now, all because Google Play, the web store, has changed and I cannot save the images for the following application. And that is not my fault. A lot of things have to change because the Google Web Play Store has completely changed that it completely changes me. I'm not very happy about it. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. Do not blame me, blame Google. So it's gonna be a little bit different than what you're used to, but I'll start off with unlock with Wi-Fi. Now I don't always lock my phone phone when I go out. I always have, you know, no password. I just slide to unlock my screen. For those people who want to protect their phones in case they lose it or they want no one to go into their phone without the permission, they won't be able to without a password, right? I'm going to turn my screen off here and I'll turn it back on and we get prompted here with the normal unlocking. Now, if I actually turn off my Wi-Fi, you're going to see device is locked now and now I'm going to lock my screen and turn it back on and now I'm prompted with a password so now I have to enter a password to unlock my phone and then you press one or okay so that is the really good part about it. you're at home you're on your own privacy but when you're out and about as soon as you leave your Wi-Fi connection it's gonna automatically check it in so we see connect to Wi-Fi device locked Wi-Fi unlocked now now the Wi-Fi is unlocked so now I can do it again without having to do a password. So that's really, really, really handy right there. Now let's go into menu and go into settings. This has a whole bunch of more features as well. Bluetooth on and off when you leave the Wi-Fi, it'll also turn on certain different things, syncing and turning off syncing and hide Facebook, Twitter buttons. I think you guys will enjoy it, so go try it out for yourself. Here next we have 100,000 wallpapers and themes. You'll be able to log in with your Facebook, but why when you can just do it without it? Categories that you'll be able to choose from. So if I go into 3D wallpapers, for your background and you can see tons of nice HD wallpapers and you could go into like the anime if you're into cars you can go to here be like oh that's a cool picture once you click on that you see that you'll be able to switch photos just by clicking on here or just go over and you can favorite you can set a wallpaper right now if you click on that or you can share let's go into comedy click it on to here you can press this wallpaper set let's go home and there is the wallpaper, very quick and simple that just launched just like that. So if you like it, you'll try it out for yourself. Next up, we have Easy Weather HD. Clicking on Easy Weather HD forecast, you can see the seven days, or you can go to the 24 hour format, which is gonna go by, you know, 4 p.m. It's gonna be 89, 5, 89, then 6 p.m., 88. So you can see, you can scroll through and it'll give you time by time. Go back to seven days, it'll give you the seven day mark right there. You can refresh by clicking on to here real quickly and there it is and there's your GPS and clicking on here you refresh settings, go into your settings, refresh interval, location and notification theme you can choose between light, dark and transparent. But now let's take a look at the widget. This is the little widget right here that we can see there's a time, there's a Hillsborough and all these have different kind of actions. If I click on the clock, it'll actually bring up my alarms, my roll clock, stopwatch, whatever timer you have that uses your stock, you'll see. Clicking on here, we'll go into fully transparent, simple white, or transparent black. You can choose between them, or forecast. You can just see the forecast. So you can choose between the sixes that you have there. Different parts of it actually open up different areas. One, And then here's the, the weather one only. It's clean and simple, works great, so go try it out for yourself. Here next we have floating touch. We have a little circle here, but before I get into that, I'm just gonna go into on, and you will see now I got a little bubble that popped up. Can't do it in the center of the screen, you can just you know do it in any corner of the screen. Now when I tap on it, you will see that this is gonna come up, and these are all shortcuts to whatever applications I wanna jump to and set. So I can go to the home, and goes to the home. Tap on here, Tweedle, and I'll jump right here to my Tweedle. I can be in any application and still open. As you see, it launches very well. Go to your home, and you could also go into actually kill applications, which cleaned up memory. You could also lock the screen. Launch your camera, Instagram, as you see, I set those here. If you touch in the center right here, it goes back into the customizations. Here's the colors that you can choose. If you tap on here, you see you can go to actions. You can see there's rooted features here. Go into the apps, you see you'll be able to actually setting different things there. There's the app store, so once you click it there, I'm going to the point. You'll be able to set different icons, you see there. Click on that, that's icon change. You can change the size and the alpha if you want it to be more transparent or not. And that's it, you don't have to press anything, it just always knows it. And clicking on it, 
you can go into this little folder which actually gives you little toggle shortcuts that you can you know on and off on these things it's a really cool application i think you guys will enjoy it so go try it out for yourself here next we have caller name talker this application speaks every incoming calls name and incoming messages you notice right here we can click into the call alert settings alert call name in silent mode alert names and contacts only you select all these on and off flip to stop caller name alert you see there's lots of options here and then if you go into the sms alert if someone texts you and it'll read my message saying please rate comment and subscribe so now you can reply without having to have to read it voice settings i only have four I don't know if it because my ROM came like this or this is how the application is. English is non existent here. You can only do French, German, Italian, and Spanish for right now. We'll try to speak it in English with their own accent of whatever it's on so anyways you can choose the speed, you can set the pitches, and you can see right here test voice. Jundoy. <laughs> That's supposed to be John Doe, but because it's in Spanish, now if you go to German I know there's other similar applications that do these type of things, but this one's a really cool to the point one that you could have used. If I find something similar and better than this, you know I'll post it. So go try it out for yourself. Here next we have Flavor. Look who's popping up. Hey, what are you clicking on? This application, ignore this guy, organizes your photos in different time frames. You see it's all by date and it groups it and then some of them who aren't grouped they'll be scattered around but you see that these are all sectioned if I click onto it right here you see it opens up there's a video playing these photos move around and you can see more pictures move around you can share your albums here as well share your pictures but you see it's playing the video as I get to see a whole bunch of more pictures there you can click on the video like a really dark video you can't even see i was just trying to record it so anyways it is a little choppy it's a pretty cool thing though if you click onto that right there you see you know more photos there you can also drag down here if you have a whole bunch of pictures on that day go into your menu go into your settings you see select albums mute videos go here you can see which ones you want to actually display something cool to try it's not like going to be a replacement so i go do it to it here next we have u loops Pocket Band Light. Now, I've reviewed this application before, but I want to bring it back because I love making beats. I don't know if you guys know that I'm a rapper. I used to make music all the time when I was younger. And I have a whole other channel at The Cool Loser. That's all old stuff. I stopped doing a lot of music because I just moved on to busier life with work and YouTube. This is going to give you a whole entire like rundown of you see someone made this song so all these have different areas where you click and click and it'll start song on july 11th i created this beat and it was very simple you see it's playing one beat and then i go two beats for the next one something like this well, what do you know? It's the Calusa for show. To deliver, so get ready for some apps and games. Number one spot, this is the place to go. Android tech, you know, doing my thing. The best of the weeks, you know how it goes. Here on Calusa Tech, let's start the show. If you go into the loop section here, and if you want to add more, just go into the device. You can see here we can add synthesizers and clicking on it. Lead bass, you can have all these to change from. Some of these are locked, so you can't really you know change you can't really use those so you can go into a stereo pad just do abduction and then you see I'm just randomly clicking so I have to press save though this is not a test it ain't no drill to cover mother effort cause I'm back for real back for more love back for more game I bet you're wondering about you and it's still the same so anyways it's a little complicated but you will have to get used to it go to your profile go into the community and listen to other people's beats that they make go into the news if you're into music it's cool go try it out for yourself next up we have deal flux for the people who love to shop online I think a lot of people know about woot.com and they always do some pretty cool deals here you can see this is the today's deals if you want to scroll over you see one sell a day you'll see what they have and if you like it you know you can be like oh that's kind of cool i kind of want to work out so you know you can buy now see where you can buy it uh let's go over and go to daily steals this is another one that i like to shop through if you want to go buy now go to details read more about it and go to related and you see stuff like that you can share and then go to Yugster, which actually shows you some clothing stuff there go over you see the settings you can set what 
stuff you want to see. If you don't want to see certain stuff, you can check off. So it's just the popular like four here online deal stores. I think it's worth a shot to keep for a while if you're into the market to find something cool to buy. So if you like it, go try it out for yourself. Here next we have Spins HD. You can use this application to play all your songs. You see artists, tracks, playlists. You go to presets. This is what makes it a big deal. Since you can play music, which I'm not going to, you're just gonna have to test it out for yourself. Plus that's the only way you can actually listen to the difference. Is when you play music, you'll be able to choose what kind of preference you can you know, select that you want to listen to. It's like, say, the rock style. That might give you a lot of bass and a lot of treble. And if you go to the hip hop, that's just all bass and no treble. I'm just giving you an example. I'm not saying that's how it is, but acoustic that will be like no bass and all treble. Um, you'll just hear the differences. Just quick preferences you'll be able to jump through. And if you go to the wet side, you will see that you can actually adjust the tunes if you want more low bass and mids and highs and you could you'll hear the difference definitely for sure so why not try it out for yourself and last but not least we have shareware i can see this application being mostly used for parents for the kids like in case you want your kid or your parents want you to check in they can know exactly where you're at or for the main purpose use is like for an emergency so if something happens you want like to select people you can actually send your location in a special message to any application that you would like to go through so it's a light version but you can try it out if you go into your people you'll be able to choose what contacts you want to send. Read the description and this application can be very helpful. Let's say you're going to a party and your friends don't know any idea where the location is, but they're at the spot and they can just, you know, get the location and everything, send it to your phone and then you'll find all the coordinates that'll send you to where exactly he's at. Something like that, I don't know, there's all types of different uses here you can do. So if you like something like this, then go do it to it. And there you guys have it. These were the best apps of the week. Right off Google Play, brought to you by me, the cool loser. I was not happy with Google Play's change. I didn't like it at all. I mean, it's a lot different. It looks better, but it's losing its functionalities that a lot of people use. I've read a lot of reviews, people didn't like it. So Google, if you watched me, and if you listen to people complaining how they didn't like what you changed then you know you gotta bring those back because i could even save any of the pictures especially that big title one that i used to put before with my applications you know i can't even I, mean, I can't even because they don't even exist they're not even there for me to even grab and the app icon logo i can't even save that because it's in a different file format which is like it's supposed to be faster for you guys to load which makes sense but it's not available for everyone to incorporate and save and add and edit things like that so I'm a little disappointed today uh, but you see I still managed to get my applications obviously it's not a big deal for some but you know it's it's what I'm used to doing and it does help me not adding them in but it's what my show is about with adding those little extra little small features how am I going? my Gwen knows and uh, we're not too happy about Google um, changing it up a little bit. I, hopefully they bring it back. That's pretty much all I got for today. So until next time, I will see you for the best games of the week. Alrighty. Later.